11 Signs of Prediabetes That Few People Know Did you know that prediabetes can be the first warning sign before the development of type 2 diabetes? What are the signs indicating your body is beginning to have trouble regulating blood sugar? And how can lifestyle changes make all the difference in preventing this condition? In this video, we will deeply explore what prediabetes is, the risks associated with lack of treatment, and the essential steps to prevent its progression. Discover the 11 lesser-known signs of prediabetes and effective measures to maintain your health. Let's understand together how to detect and act against this silent condition affecting millions worldwide. Stay with us until the end because sign 9 is the most dangerous and common, yet almost no one knows about it. You will be surprised. Let's get started. What is prediabetes? Prediabetes is a medical condition characterized by blood glucose levels higher than normal but not high enough to be diagnosed as type 2 diabetes. This condition occurs when the body starts losing the ability to use insulin efficiently, resulting in insulin resistance. Insulin is an essential hormone produced by the pancreas that regulates blood sugar levels, allowing glucose to enter cells to be used as energy. When someone is prediabetic, it means their body is not processing glucose properly, causing blood sugar levels to remain elevated after eating. These elevated glucose levels indicate that the pancreas is overworked and cannot produce enough insulin to maintain normal blood glucose levels. What are the consequences if you don't treat or make changes? Ignoring prediabetes or not making necessary lifestyle changes can lead to severe consequences. Progression to type 2 diabetes is almost certain without intervention, and it brings increased risks of serious complications. Cardiovascular diseases, such as heart attack and stroke, are common in people with diabetes. Kidney problems, which can lead to kidney failure, and nerve damage, resulting in neuropathy, are other frequent complications. Additionally, diabetic retinopathy can cause vision loss. Lack of treatment can result in a significantly reduced quality of life and a shorter life expectancy. Therefore, it is essential to act to control prediabetes and prevent the progression to type 2 diabetes. Without treatment, high blood glucose levels can damage blood vessels and nerves over time, leading to chronic and potentially fatal complications. Lack of control can result in frequent infections, poor wound healing, and an increased risk of amputations, especially in the lower limbs. Moreover, mental health can also be affected, with a higher incidence of depression and anxiety due to health concerns. In summary, not treating prediabetes can lead to a cascade of health problems that impact all areas of life, making early intervention and proper management of the condition essential. A global problem. Prediabetes is a growing concern in the United States, where approximately one in three adults has the condition, totaling more than 88 million Americans. Alarmingly, about 90% of these people are unaware they are pre-diabetic. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, without interventions, many of them will develop type 2 diabetes within five years. These statistics highlight the importance of public health strategies focused on preventing and controlling pre-diabetes. Awareness campaigns about the importance of a healthy diet and regular exercise are essential to reduce the incidence of the condition. Improving access to blood glucose tests and early intervention programs can help identify and treat prediabetes before it progresses to type 2 diabetes. Cooperation among governments, health organizations, and civil society is crucial to combat this silent epidemic. Health education programs, policies that promote healthy eating, and the creation of environments that encourage physical activity are important steps in the fight against prediabetes and its complications. What are the 11 signs of prediabetes that few people know? Sign 1. Reduced exercise capacity. Reduced exercise capacity is an important sign of prediabetes and can be an early indicator of metabolic problems. People with prediabetes often experience a decrease in physical endurance and overall ability to perform physical activities. This occurs due to a combination of factors, including insulin resistance, chronic inflammation, and changes in blood glucose levels. When the body becomes insulin resistant, muscle cells have difficulty absorbing glucose from the blood, which is essential for providing energy during exercise. Without adequate energy, muscles fatigue more quickly, and the person may feel excessively tired after activities they previously performed with ease. Additionally, chronic inflammation, common in individuals with prediabetes, can cause pain and discomfort in the joints and muscles, making exercise more difficult and less enjoyable. Another important aspect is that poor blood glucose management can lead to episodes of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, during exercise. This can cause symptoms such as dizziness, 
weakness, excessive sweating, and even fainting, leading people to avoid physical activity due to fear of these episodes. Reduced exercise capacity can create a vicious cycle. Lack of physical activity contributes to weight gain and worsening insulin resistance, which in turn exacerbates prediabetes. Breaking this cycle is crucial by adopting a balanced approach that includes a healthy diet, weight loss, and regular exercise adapted to individual capacities. Sign 2. Frequent infections, especially in the skin or bladder. Frequent infections, particularly in the skin or bladder, can be a sign of prediabetes. When blood glucose levels are elevated, the body's immune system is compromised, making it more susceptible to infections. High glucose provides an ideal environment for the growth of bacteria and fungi, resulting in recurrent infections. For example, urinary tract infections may become more common, as well as fungal infections in the skin and mouth. Prevention and control of these episodes require strict monitoring of blood sugar levels and appropriate medical care. Sign 3. Frequent urination or polyuria. Frequent urination, also known as polyuria, is one of the first signs of prediabetes. This symptom occurs when blood sugar levels are elevated, causing the kidneys to work harder to filter and absorb the excess glucose. When the kidneys can't keep up, the excess glucose is excreted in the urine, pulling large volumes of water with it. As a result, the person feels the need to urinate more frequently, especially at night. This increase in urinary frequency can go unnoticed but is an important indicator that blood glucose levels are abnormal. If you notice that you are urinating more than 7 to 8 times a day without a clear explanation, such as increased fluid intake, it is important to see a doctor to evaluate your blood glucose levels. Sign 4. Constant thirst. Constant thirst, or polydipsia, is another classic sign of prediabetes. This symptom is directly linked to polyuria. As the body loses more fluids through urination, it tries to compensate by increasing water intake. Elevated blood glucose causes a drain of fluids from the tissues, leading to dehydration and a continuous feeling of thirst. Even if the person drinks large amounts of water, the thirst can persist if glucose levels are not controlled. The feeling of constant thirst is a defense mechanism of the body to prevent dehydration, but if left untreated, the underlying cause can lead to more serious complications. If you notice that you are constantly thirsty and drinking a lot of water without relief, it is a sign that something may be wrong with your blood glucose levels. Sign 5. Irritability. Irritability is a sign of prediabetes that can be easily overlooked. Fluctuations in blood glucose levels can affect mood and cause irritability. When the body has difficulty regulating glucose, there can be periods of hyperglycemia, high glucose, and hypoglycemia, low glucose, both of which negatively affect the brain and nervous system. These imbalances can result in feelings of frustration, anxiety, and irritability. Additionally, chronic fatigue, common in people with prediabetes, can exacerbate these symptoms, making mood management a daily challenge. Sign 6. Vision Problems Vision problems are common in people with elevated blood sugar levels. Hyperglycemia can affect the blood vessels that supply the eyes, especially in the retina. This damage can cause blurred vision or loss of visual sharpness. In more severe cases, it can lead to diabetic retinopathy, a condition that can cause blindness. For those with prediabetes, it is crucial to monitor vision regularly and see an ophthalmologist if any changes are noticed. Additionally, swelling of the ocular lenses due to high glucose levels can alter the shape of the lens, affecting focusability and resulting in temporary blurred vision. If you notice sudden or persistent changes in your vision, it is important to seek medical evaluation, as these symptoms may indicate problems related to blood glucose control. Sign 7. Slow Healing of Wounds One of the most concerning signs of prediabetes is the slow healing of wounds. Excess blood sugar can damage blood vessels, reducing the efficiency of blood circulation and the body's ability to repair tissues. Additionally, elevated glucose can compromise the immune system, increasing the risk of infections. Small wounds or cuts that take a long time to heal or that easily become infected should be a warning to check glucose levels. Poor circulation also means that the nutrients and oxygen necessary for healing do not reach the injured areas effectively. This is particularly concerning in the lower limbs, where circulation may already be naturally slower. Monitoring skin health and seeking medical assistance when observing any delay in healing is crucial to avoid more serious complications. Sign 8. Dark spots or patches on the skin. Dark spots on the skin, especially in areas of folds such as armpits, neck, and groin, 
can be a sign of insulin resistance. This condition, known as acanthosis nigricans, indicates that the body is producing more insulin than necessary to control blood glucose levels. The spots may appear as dark velvet-like patches and are an early indicator that insulin levels are elevated, potentially progressing to type 2 diabetes if not controlled. These areas of increased pigmentation are often accompanied by a thickened texture and may cause discomfort or aesthetic concern. Recognizing these signs and seeking medical evaluation is essential, as acanthosis nigricans not only indicates insulin resistance but can also be associated with other metabolic and hormonal disorders. Controlling insulin levels through lifestyle changes can help reduce or eliminate these patches. Sign 9. Inflamed or Bleeding Gums Inflamed or bleeding gums are signs that can indicate an underlying condition like prediabetes. When blood glucose levels are consistently elevated, the body may have difficulty fighting infections. This includes infections in the mouth, such as gum diseases. Gingivitis, an early form of periodontal disease, is characterized by red, swollen gums that bleed easily, especially when brushing teeth or using dental floss. People with prediabetes may not immediately notice they have gum problems. However, chronic inflammation can lead to periodontitis, a more serious condition that can result in tooth loss. Gum inflammation is not only a sign of poor oral health but can also indicate broader health problems related to blood glucose control. Maintaining good oral hygiene is essential for everyone, but it is especially important for those at risk of prediabetes or who already have the condition. This includes brushing teeth at least twice a day, flossing daily, and visiting the dentist regularly for cleanings and checkups. Additionally, keeping blood glucose levels under control through a balanced diet, regular exercise, and, if necessary, medication can help prevent gum complications and other parts of the body. Sign 10. Constant Fatigue Constant fatigue is a common symptom of prediabetes. When the body cannot use insulin effectively, cells do not receive the necessary glucose to produce energy. This results in a persistent feeling of tiredness, regardless of how much the person rests or sleeps. Lack of energy can affect quality of life and the ability to perform daily activities. The constant feeling of tiredness can be a sign that blood glucose levels are high and the body is struggling to maintain energy balance. Additionally, impaired glucose metabolism can cause a sense of weakness and sluggishness. If you are experiencing unexplained and persistent fatigue, it is important to see a doctor to evaluate your blood glucose levels and consider interventions to improve your metabolic health. Sign 11. Unexplained weight loss. Unexplained weight loss, especially when not associated with changes in diet or physical activity level, can be a sign of prediabetes. When the body cannot use glucose effectively due to insulin resistance, it begins to break down fats and muscles for energy. This can lead to rapid and unintentional weight loss. Although weight loss may seem beneficial, in this context, it is a sign that the body is having difficulty metabolizing essential nutrients. The unused glucose is excreted in the urine, resulting in caloric loss and consequent weight loss. If you are losing weight quickly without a clear reason, it is important to seek medical evaluation, as this can be a sign of significant glucose regulation issues and the need for intervention to prevent more serious complications. What are the risk factors for pre-diabetes? 1. Overweight or obesity Overweight and obesity are the main risk factors for pre-diabetes. Excess fat, especially abdominal fat, interferes with the body's ability to use insulin effectively. Visceral fat, which surrounds internal organs, is particularly harmful. It releases inflammatory substances that can lead to insulin resistance. Maintaining a healthy weight through a balanced diet and regular exercise is essential to reduce the risk of developing prediabetes. Obesity increases the demand for insulin, which can overburden the pancreas and lead to the development of insulin resistance. 2. Excess abdominal fat Excess abdominal fat or central obesity, is an important indicator of risk for prediabetes. Even people who have an overall body weight within the normal range but have a large amount of abdominal fat are at risk. Waist circumference measurement is a simple method to assess this risk. For men, a circumference greater than 102 cm, 40 inches, and for women, greater than 88 cm, 35 inches, is considered a high risk. Abdominal fat is associated with a series of metabolic conditions and significantly increases insulin resistance, contributing to the development of prediabetes. 3. High blood pressure High blood pressure, or hypertension, is often associated with prediabetes. High blood pressure damages blood vessels, making it difficult for blood to circulate properly and increasing insulin resistance. Additionally, 
Hypertension is a risk factor for cardiovascular diseases, which are common complications of diabetes. Controlling blood pressure through diet, exercise, and, if necessary, medication is crucial to reduce the risk of prediabetes. The combination of hypertension and insulin resistance creates a vicious cycle that can lead to severe organ damage if not treated properly. 4. Dyslipidemia Dyslipidemia refers to abnormal levels of lipids in the blood, such as elevated cholesterol and triglycerides. These lipid imbalances are often associated with insulin resistance and the development of prediabetes. Keeping cholesterol and triglyceride levels under control through a healthy diet and, when necessary, medication is important to prevent progression to type 2 diabetes. Dyslipidemia contributes to the hardening and narrowing of arteries, increasing the risk of heart disease, which is common in individuals with prediabetes and diabetes. 5. Hereditary factors A family history of diabetes is a significant risk factor for prediabetes. If one or both parents have type 2 diabetes, the risk of developing prediabetes increases considerably. This suggests that genetic factors play an important role in the predisposition to insulin resistance. People with a family history of diabetes should be especially vigilant about their lifestyle habits and regularly monitor their blood glucose levels. The combination of genetic predisposition and environmental factors, such as diet and physical activity, can substantially increase the risk of developing prediabetes. How to Diagnose Prediabetes Diagnosing prediabetes is relatively simple and mainly involves blood tests. The most common test is fasting blood glucose measurement. A blood glucose level between 110 and 126 mg per deciliter after fasting for at least 8 hours indicates prediabetes. Another test used is the oral glucose tolerance test, which measures the body's response to a dose of glucose after 2 hours. If levels are between 140 and 199 mg per deciliter, this also indicates prediabetes. Additionally, the glycated hemoglobin, HbA1c, test can be used to provide an average of blood glucose levels over the past 2 to 3 months. A result between 5.7% and 6.4% indicates prediabetes. Regular testing is crucial for early detection and intervention. People with risk factors, such as obesity, a family history of diabetes, or hypertension, should have periodic tests to monitor their blood glucose levels. How to prevent prediabetes? Preventing prediabetes involves lifestyle and dietary changes. Avoiding a sedentary lifestyle is one of the most important measures. Regular exercise, at least 150 minutes of moderate activity per week, can improve insulin sensitivity and help control glucose levels. Diet also plays a crucial role. Opting for low glycemic load foods, such as vegetables, fruits, whole grains, and lean proteins, helps keep blood sugar levels stable. Additionally, avoiding processed foods and those rich in simple sugars is essential. Maintaining a healthy weight is another important strategy. Weight loss, even modest, can significantly reduce the risk of developing prediabetes. Controlling other risk factors, such as hypertension and dyslipidemia, is also essential. Effective prevention of prediabetes requires a continuous commitment to a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet, regular physical activity, and medical monitoring. How to control prediabetes? Controlling prediabetes requires a continuous commitment to a healthy lifestyle. Making dietary changes, such as reducing the intake of refined carbohydrates and increasing fiber consumption, is essential. Regular exercise helps maintain insulin sensitivity. Losing weight, even a reduction of 5 to 7% of total body weight, can significantly impact prediabetes control. Additionally, it is important to regularly monitor blood glucose levels and maintain medical follow-up to adjust the treatment plan as necessary. Adopting a low glycemic index diet, which includes foods like legumes, low sugar fruits, whole grains, and lean proteins, can help control blood glucose levels. Regular physical activity, such as walking, swimming, or cycling, is also crucial to improve insulin sensitivity and reduce glucose levels. Besides lifestyle changes, some cases of prediabetes may require medication to help control blood glucose levels. Metformin is one of the most commonly prescribed medications for this purpose. It is essential to follow medical guidelines and have regular checkups to monitor the condition. Implementing healthy habits not only helps control prediabetes but also improves overall health and quality of life. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I wish you great health, wealth, and happiness. See you in the next video.